Hey, hello, my friends. This is CAA1000. Well, came as a bombshell. I mean, for over a year we heard about it. And you probably heard, so this is quite, to me, good news. I don't know about you. But about early 2014, I believe January or February 2014, I heard that first a uh, charter cable came out and told Time Warner Cable's ownership to become part of their company. I mean, like a merger. But apparently, Time Warner Cable says they will not deal with charter cable. And uh, I guess the charter cables offer was too low for them to consider so a month after charter cables offer was rejected by time warner cable came comcast cable and said to time warner cable we'll buy you and we'll offer more than charter did so time warner cable accepted the offer so now the whole thing was that the federal government, and that is the Department of Justice, the FCC, and the FTC, the Trade Commission, I mean, they have to approve that merge and base it on conditions. And because Comcast Cable already took ownership of NBC Universal which, I mean, the networks, the theme parks, and everything, and the Telemundo channels in Puerto Rico and elsewhere. I mean, Comcast already having control of NBC Universal came out and said to Time Warner Cable, I'll buy you. So they put an offer of 45 plus million dollars for merging Time Warner Cable with Comcast. Now, I did not said anything about it because I mean first I'm not a Time Warner Cable uh, subscriber I subscribe to Bright House Networks Cable now Bright House Networks Cable is a co-ownership of Time Warner Cable with Advanced Publishing now Advanced Publishing um, I think are the owners of Discovery Channel and the Condenas magazines. So, what happened is that when Comcast decided to offer the merge to Time Warner Cable, the government, I mean, the uh, Department of Justice, I believe, and the FCC found out about Time Warner Cable and Bright House Networks' current ownership or not ownership, but co-ownership, if I call it that way. And then the FCC, I think they were like, uh, you know what, um, I think there is a problem with Time Warner Cable. If they want to merge with Comcast, they have to shut out Bright House Networks. So that means that Bright House Networks who relies mostly on Time Warner Cable will have to switch to another cable company. And then my belief was that if that was going to happen, I mean, most of the services that Time Warner Cable shares with Bright House Networks will simply, I mean, will disappear basically. And then it, if another company like Charter Cable or another cable company takes control of Right House Networks, then that ha what happens is that most services will downgrade, most services will be eliminated. On top of that, you get higher cable bills and internet, it's, internet speeds that you pay for will be either lower or cap, meaning that if you pay for, let's say, 300 megabits, per second and then comes charter cable and say that they can only offer 60 megabits per second I mean are you really will 
will you really consider that kind of deal if um, you know if that Comcast Time Warner cable merge happening? But I mean, to me, that obviously said no way it's not gonna happen, and the FCC, the federal government, and the Department of Justice says not gonna happen. So Comcast decided not to pursue the deal with Time Warner Cable. Now, what's gonna happen? I mean, because here's what happened. Obviously, let me go back in time because this is what got me into this situation. And usually, this is why I'm responding to this video. But let's go back in time and see why was the whole thing, the whole thing happened in the first place. Um, just give me one second. Now, obviously, as I said, in January 2014, Charter Cable came and said, you know what, I'm going to buy Time Warner Cable. So, Time Warner Cable, apparently, they saw the offer by Charter Cable. So Time Warner Cable says your offer is too low and not considering, so goodbye. So on top of that comes Comcast and then Comcast said, okay, if Charter is giving you a low deal, I'm going to improve that deal so you get to merge with Comcast. So apparently, here's what happened. After that, came Charter Cable, who said, wait a moment. If Comcast and Time Warner Cable merge, then Bright House Networks, which is my cable TV provider in the Orlando area. Now, if Comcast bought Time Warner Cable, and the merge was approved by the government. Then what happened was that Time Warner Cable will have to get rid of Bright House Networks. And usually, as I said, because Bright House Networks is a co-share ownership with Time Warner Cable and Advanced Publishing, the Condé Nast ownership. So here's what happened. The Condé Nast ownership was so desperate and what they said is, you know what? Let Charter, the cable company Charter, give us a better offer. What their offer was? 10 plus billion dollars. And that's it, 10 plus billion dollars for Bright House Networks. Now to me, this is what happens. Obviously, I wasn't that interested in the Comcast Time Warner Cable merge, but if the merge was approved, then the Charter Bright House cable deal will have to be approved too. But to me it was like, wait a second, what is the benefit to me who pays Bright House Networks? I'm gonna pay more money to Charter Cable now? Am I gonna get the same services that I get with Bright House Networks or I'm gonna get less than that? Considering that Time Warner Cable is the one that feeds Bright House Networks customers on that end deal. So what I thought was, uh, okay, so maybe I'll wait to see what happens because the uh, obviously the FCC the and the Department of Justice were not happy about how this merge will have gone because it will have made Comcast Cable, I mean, and uh, let's say Comcast Cable combined with Time Warner Cable will have become the top main uh, cable internet and telephone service com uh, competitor. But obviously they are not available in the every market. So that means that they will have been taking at least over 50% of the US market. So when that obviously happened, the, the whole thing was that Comcast and Time Warner Cable will have to give away some of their systems. So what's going, what will have happened if that merge will have taken place? So 
Comcast will have gave some of their systems to Charter Cable and then Charter Cable will call them Great Land Cable. I don't even know if I ever heard of that company, Great Land Cable. So, and again, that was if the merge happened. And then after Charter gets whatever uh, Comcast gave them, and then Charter got approved with the Bright House deal. And obviously, we'll have made Comcast number one and Charter number two. But then again, the government saw, okay, well, we can approve the merge, but the services that they are giving now they will be either discontinued, they will be, uh, I guess, uh, downgraded, if you say, or will increase your monthly bill, your services will either improve or fail to improve, in other words, suck, and still, you don't have choices because, I mean, having a duopoly, if I call it that way, duopoly of two, three, four cable systems in the U.S., and then still you only have, I guess, none options except that you pay a cell phone for internet access, which I do actually. But other than that, your options will be minimum or non-existence if those merges happen between both Comcast and Time Warner Cable and Charter Bright House Cable, but because the government, the FCC, the Department of Justice saw this Comcast merge too, I guess too good to be true actually, but the fact that they were considering the negative impact that this merge could have taken if approved. So the Department of Justice just told Comcast this deal is not going to happen, so they canceled the deal, and guess what? Back to Charter Cable again. Here's what I heard. Charter Cable is now offering to buy Time Warner Cable. Yes, you heard right. Charter is again offering to buy Time Warner Cable, but the question is, Will they buy Bright House Networks? Because they already did an offer, but the offer was supposedly subject to the approval of the Comcast Time Warner merge. So in other words, to me, I mean, for the time being, the good news is that the merge will not happen. So you can still enjoy your cable TV services the way it is, until at least let's see if they go ahead with another attempt to merge Time Warner Cable with Charter Cable. And if that happens, well, don't tell me what's going to happen with Bright House Network customers if the deal between Charter and Time Warner Cable happens. You know, it's in the air right now, so I just pay them, but if they cannot serve my needs, goodbye friend. Thank you for watching. This is CAA1000.